Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button for more content. I'm going to be the Oswald. I'm going to be the fall guy. So they fucking, I mean, that's just insane. What are the odds? What are the odds of that? When was the last time like three major oil people all killed themselves within the same week? For the love of God, can I get some conspiracy theory on this one? I would love to hear your theories. I'd love to hear them, you know, because that's the kind of guy I am. Um, all right, where are we? Let's get on to the next thing here. Long distance hiking follow up. Oh, all right, here we go. Hey, Bill, a few weeks ago, you asked for advice on how to deal with animals in the wilderness. Most people that get mauled either left food in their. Oh, yeah, that's why I have this massive fear about going into the woods and ac- accidentally stumbling upon a, uh, a mama bear with her cubs or a, uh, a mountain lion. I'm always on a trail, and to the left or the right of me is a higher, like, like cliff, and the thing is just sitting there. You know, you know when they sit there and they put their head down, and their fucking shoulder and back muscles go like fucking, like if they were in a muscle competition, like that would be like the Schwarzenegger like stance. They put their head down. You know what I'm saying? Just waiting to pounce on me. Um, this is what the person says. Most people get mauled either. Uh, most people that get mauled either left food in their tent or tried to pose for a picture with the animal, or did some other dumb shit you would never do. But yes, on very rare occasions, an animal will attack somebody who did nothing wrong. Here is my advice if that happens. First of all, you did do something wrong. You ventured out into the wilderness. You left the tribe. You put yourself at risk. All right? I mean, I guess if you're in your backyard and there's a bear there, but if there's a bear in your backyard, you... That's urban sprawl that went, he's not in your backyard. You're in his front yard. There's no fucking reason a bear should be outside your house. You need to move back down towards the village. You're right there, antisocial. Get a hobby. Say hello to somebody. You know, have a couple of drinks. Get some alcohol courage in you and go walk up to the pretty girl and say hello. Okay, stop trying to live with the fucking owls. All right, bears. Uh, If you're attacked by a bear, you should leave your backpack on to protect your back and use your hands to cover your neck. What about your face? Usually the bear will leave after a while, but if it starts to chew on you, that's when you need to fight back. Oh, really? What, What should I go with? Should I set up the, you know, the overhand right with a couple of jabs or should I try to kick him in his uh, bear balls? What if it's a woman? What do I do? Do I try to stick my toe in its vag? Uh, it's bear vag. It's badge. Um, mountain lions. With mountain lions, playing dead will not work. You need to fight back right away. Your best chance is to aim for the nose and eyes. Dude, this is fucking hilarious. I mean, I, I think I would have a... This is... none. Of, this shit work, wouldn't work against Mike Tyson. Forget about a fucking bear or a mountain lion. Wolves. Playing dead won't work in a wolf attack either. You can either climb a tree, put it in a headlock, or shove your fist down its throat. I'm not joking. Look it up. You know what I always thought you could do? I don't know about a wolf. I always thought against... This was my... You know, when I'm laying in bed and I'm thinking about getting attacked by a fucking, you know, some rabid dog or whatever... If somebody ever sick that dog on me, when I'm laying in bed totally relaxed and have my wits about me and I don't have urine running down my leg as I run towards my Prius like I would in real life, <laughs> I um, my plan of attack was when the fucking dog is coming at you, you stick your forearm out and you just feed it to him. You just jam it right into his fucking mouth. And right as it climps down and it has you, you then take your other fucking forearm and you come up over the top, smash down on the top of the thing's neck as you push your forearm up and you break its neck. You go bam, whap, which is the sound of a broken neck. Whap. I'm um, sorry. I don't know how to make the snap noise. I don't have a twig in here. That, that was my game plan. Either that or just stick your arm in there and you just you just fucking start stepping on the dog's feet. 
Because dogs are kind of pussies, man. They'll go after you, but the second you fucking do something back to you, do you know what it is? They don't have any shame. They don't mind going, ah, and then getting hit and then going, yay, 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 oh my God, what the fuck? Like, they don't give a shit. It's not like other dogs are going to, they can literally do that and then go on the other side of the block and get laid. There's like no, and they don't even remember what just happened unless there's still pain in their little dog paw. So, um, I don't fucking know. I don't even know what I'm talking about here. These, these are all like, these are all creepy fucking questions. I always felt if I was on a boat and I saw an alligator swimming towards one of my friends and it went by the boat or a shark, I would just try to time it where I jump down and I just fucking land right on its head. And I just figured that that alone would so freak it out they would leave. Or, you know, the shark or alligators would be, uh, would be feasting on two people. That's what I would be worried about after the, sh- after the shock. You know, when the shark's like, what the, f- you motherfucker, when it's coming back, that's what I, th- I think. Like, sharks, I think, just leave. Alligators, they just seem fucking relentless to me. Um, all right, killer bees. Here we go. With killer bees, Africanized honeybees, you're supposed to run away for at least half a mile. Now, this I know. Do not flail your arms and do not kill one. They will swarm you if you kill one. But honestly, they... They look just like normal bees to me, so I don't know how to tell when you're in danger. Oh, my God. Run for a half a mile. For fucking half a mile. What's the fastest mi- fastest mile I ever ran was like a 618, like freshman year in high school when I weighed about 140-something pounds. I'm now a buck 75. So I, I think I could run maybe a seven-minute. Even with the fear, just the pain is going to offset the adrenaline that's gonna be a long 15 minutes people oh god can you imagine me a balding stung up fucking swollen redhead (laughs) just coming over the hill jesus christ what a sight all right spiders kill almost nobody most can be very dangerous if you catch them at the wrong time some snake bites obviously require immediate medical care but I would be more afraid of lightning if I were you. So, yes, it can get gruesome, but these attacks are very rare. Absolutely. I mean, I know shark attacks are very rare, but it's just like I would love to try surfing. But just, you know, just the fact that, you know, you got to understand that surfing is a sport where you're risking getting eaten alive. I mean, it's just fucking, I mean, it's just not worth it. God damn it, it looks like fun, though, doesn't it? <laughs> 